what's going on guys it's Nathan Humphrey and today we talk about why you should practice respiratory control now we know that avoidance likely will worsen anxiety symptoms but how can one cope with a very strong fight-or-flight response in those moments it is helpful to have a portable skill that one can use to help them get through a very high anxiety situation respiratory control is a skill that can help you address very high anxiety. However, it is important to not rely on these skills for any anxiety provoking situation. This skill should only be used when anxiety is high. When anxiety is at a manageable level, it is important to work to tolerate through the situation without skills used in order to observe the natural anxiety curve and learn that one is capable of tolerating the anxiety and the situation overall. Respiratory control is a way to help relax the body and turn off the flight or fight response and guide the body back to the rest and digest state. By practicing this daily, as well as utilizing it when anxiety is very elevated, one can effectively counter the long-term impact of stress and anxiety has on the body. Effective use of respiratory control can also assist individuals in thinking more rational so that they can more effectively deal with stressors in a more positive way, such as by using problem solving skills. Lastly, the beauty of respiratory control is that you only need you to do it and no one else. No other items, just you. Also, you can do it at any time and no one will really know that you're doing it. You are the only one stopping yourself from actually doing something that you wanna achieve. Like I know like people might help you or stuff like that, but it starts with you and ends with you. You know what I'm saying? You have to be your change. I'd say you're like, for me, I was addicted to drugs. Let's say you were addicted to drugs and you're trying to get out of that situation or you just wanna give it up. Like it starts with you and no one else can really say okay you have to do this you have to do this to succeed or get out of that situation but it all comes down to you and if you really want it if you want to get clean or you want to get the promotion or the stuff like that there's, there's so many examples you can use are the goals of respiratory control control the rate of respiration control the size of each breath normal size breaths not deep breathing, add a pause between each inhale and exhale, exhale for the same amount of time as you inhale, lower the focus of breathing to the diaphragm. All right now we're gonna, this is how to practice respiratory control. Sit up straight, do not slouch or lay down. Place one hand on your abdomen and one on your chest. This allows you to see if you are breathing from your diaphragm or chest. Remember, you should be breathing from your diaphragm. Look at your stomach to be pushed out versus your chest. Inhale and exhale through your nose rather than your mouth. Focus on counting your breath to yourself. Inhale, two, three, relax. Exhale, two, three, relax. Inhale, two, three, Relax. Exhale. Two. Three. Relax. Inhale. Two. Three. Relax. One more. Exhale. Two. Three. Release and you can do this at any time. When to use respiratory control? Ideally, you should be practicing respiratory control for a minimum of 30 minutes per day under relaxed conditions. Practicing respiratory control when you are relaxed will help you master the skill so you can use it in more effectively when you need it the most, when you are struggling with overwhelming panic or anxiety. In addition to 30 minutes of practice each day, Utilize respiratory control in situations that your anxiety and distress is uh, is at least a five or higher using 
a 1 to 7, I mean a 0 to 7 scale, 7 being panic. Outside of practice times or before bed, if you'd like to try this to help you relax, it's important to reserve the use of respiratory control to the time when you are experiencing overwhelming anxiety slash near panic. 5 to 7 out of 7 on the 0 to 7 scale where 7 equals total panic because otherwise you are not able to experience the natural process of your body calming down on its own. Just, just one question. How did that make you feel when you did the respiratory control? How did that make you feel? And do you feel more relaxed when or after you did it? Remember that this skill takes practice like any other skill. Although many people make the mistake of stopping respiratory control too soon when they're using it in time of excessive anxiety, it takes time for this to work, especially when you're extremely anxious. So don't give up on anything you do. What to work on? Uh, just review the practice respiratory control and practice the respiratory control for 30 minutes per day. And I hope it has helped you guys in some way, shape, or form to like just balance your anxiety and your respiratory health. And if you guys have any recommendations or anything like that, questions, comments, concerns, let me know down below in the comment section. I love you all so much. I hope these videos have helped in some way, shape, or form. That's why I make them. I love you all. Stay safe and keep working hard to better yourself. I love you all. Stay safe. I'll see you next video.